What up everybody, it's your boy Jmar Varai. I'm a music video director, filmmaker, and artist. And today, we're actually not breaking down a music video. We're gonna be breaking down a fashion lookbook video that I directed for my good friend and amazing choreographer, Amari Monster. She has a clothing brand called AMX. As you can see, I have the hat on too. You'll probably see it in the video, but yeah, her, her stuff's dope. She's an amazing artist herself and dancer, and I'm always, always pleased to work with her. Yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. I had a lot of fun. We're gonna watch it together. I haven't seen this video in a minute, but I'm really, really excited to see this again and uh, just go over it with y'all. Give a little breakdown, talk about it a little bit. Let's get it. Amari Monster. Nice logo. Yep. Love this. In the middle of downtown LA. Look at that. Shout out to Jay. 26 does. He DP'd this project. So let's talk about this for a second. And pause. So let's talk about this scene real quick, right? It's very abnormal for you to see a rose, let alone a tree in the middle of downtown. We shot this on train tracks where there's no trees around. There's literally just cars and rocks. So seeing a tree in the middle of this like, you know, downtown lot with a lonely rose on it. And that rose itself is rich, it's vibrant, and it's, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful red rose. For that to be in the middle of downtown LA, a really busy, busy, busy place, I just thought that it was so like mysterious and interesting and it already sucks me in as the as the audience to be like, oh wow, that's interesting. That's that's something you don't normally see. It reminds me of Tupac and like, you know, Tupac had that poem, The Rose That Grew From Concrete, which is also very abnormal. You don't see roses growing from concrete. So I thought I wanted I, I knew I wanted to implement something of that nature into this video. And because the clothing is actually bright red, I knew that I wanted to have it just, you know, color coded with the rose and matching with the rose and it just all worked out. So I thought this one scene was beautiful. And what I also love about this scene that you're looking at right now, where you see, you see, like, let's, let's drag, backtrack for a little bit. You see the rose, right? And then you see she's alone. There's nobody in sight. It's literally just her in the rose. And then in this next scene, you see all the friends come out of nowhere, right? I thought this was so interesting and mysterious. Just everything about this intro of this lookbook is so mysterious and I love it because it just it just intrigues you and it gets you sucked in as an audience and and you as a viewer looking at this you're, you're wondering now like whoa how did where did these people come from you know what i mean so that's why i love this scene so much and that's why i like really really think it also fits amari's mysterious like vibe that she has she's she's mysterious but she's also so dope and like you you're intrigued and you're interested in wanting to know who she is as a person so this is what I love so much about this. The Lonely Rose is what I call it. And then she picks it up. Boom. Yup, straight into this dark red light. Very, very single source red light. Um, so what was, the, what was the intent behind this? Here's where I'm going to be super honest as a director. I don't know what exactly the red light represents. And I don't plan to have any meaning for what the red light represents because i just want you as the viewer to interpret what just happened i want you to tell me what you think happened when she picked up that rose and you see people in red clothing as well as a red as well as uh this dark red light shining on them as they're dancing and vibing out i want you to interpret what that may mean I knew I just wanted to put a cool transition and me and Amari knew that we wanted to transition into nighttime because the next couple of scenes are pretty dope too. And we just wanted to make a cool transition into this more gritty look and um, it all it all flowed for sure. But I also want, I left it up for interpretation for the audience to really like think about what they would see this as. What do you think, you know, the red light means? It's a question you gotta ask yourself. You know, <laughs> just get, let's, let's continue with the video. 
love all of this shout out to jay man he really killed all of these angles and look at that oh so good i don't know what it is about this coloring i, I colored this video by the way i don't know what it is about this coloring but it really reminds me of like gotham for some reason i don't know why but it's just like the contrast man look at that green and red it can't get any more better than that you know what i mean like i love the scene i love the colors in the scene i love the grit of the scene the griminess of the scene it really shows the character that amari as well as her entourage has very mysterious very gritty but also interesting you know what i mean love all of this so good just the separation of the colors oh god so good shout out to my best friend martin in the video there's your a everyone did so good in this video these slow-mos look crazy that transition was hopefully smooth to y'all i thought it was ridiculously smooth transitioning from amari's um nighttime scene to jure in this like all white and red scene I thought that transition was smooth. Shout out to us for killing that transition. I think it's awesome. But this next scene is, this next scene, these next couple of scenes are wild. So let's check it out. Come on, Jure. She, she's killing it. Here we're focusing more on the detail of the clothes. Love that. She's entering this like red room, this red realm. Just killing it. Yup, yup, all of this is fire, detail shots, just, you know, slow motion, just add some texture to the video, you know, hey, she was getting it, for sure, the separation between the white and the red is also super sick, and I loved how uh, we lit that, so, once again, shout out my boy Jay, also, shout out to the studio real quick, this is shot, this was shot at Studioism, you guys can book them through Peer Space. Super dope guys over there at Studioism. And they're also, uh, um, they also have two sets in this specific set. We use this this specific set for just the clothing. And it, all the shots came out great. Just look at the tile room, man. The tile room itself. The tile room, the all white with the all red clothing just looks wild. It looks wild to me. More just detail shots. I took pictures and I made that like shutter effect. Oh, I love this. Like right there, that shutter effect that you just saw. All of these. Right. Here. I took those photos and I knew that I wanted to just incorporate flashes of like the weird and, you know, slow shutter effect that a lot of music videos have been having and it's kind of a trendy thing right now so i just decided to add it for some texture and um yeah here's amari in her solo killing it oh yes let's talk about this real quick so this scene was also super fire because i don't know if you could tell but there's one spotlight coming in you can kind of see it in the reflection right here there's like a reflection in the uh, in the tile wall. You kind of see the spotlight hitting Amari. But what we did in this specific scene was we moved the spotlight kind of left to right to make it seem like, you know, just to add some movement with lighting. And it just gives it this cool like spotlighty, um, almost like a theater. It almost feels like a theater when you move the light like that. So we did that in this room and it just like added a ton of it's so simple it's the simplest thing you could do but it added a ton of texture in the lighting in the shots itself and i think it worked out perfectly love these shots man yep these are all fire this final shot right here is nuts just look at that man I knew I wanted to finish off the video with everybody in it, just vibing. I mean, I, I'm just noticing this now, but if you look at the two in the back to the left, they're doing the same pose as <laughs> Amari. And it's, uh, I'm just noticing that right now, but um, I feel like this shot is all it needs. Like it's saying so much without having to say anything. You know what I mean? They're just there looking at the camera in their attire lighting and the set itself looks so crazy this shot alone not much needs to be said it's literally just here's what we got to offer you look at us 
and take it for how it is you know what i mean like this looks so good i don't have to say much yeah man let's just finish the video yep amari killed this so that's the video i had a lot of fun directing this i i i sent amari the treatment she loved it from the jump and uh yeah shout out to the whole team that day shout out to jay um for dping it shout out to kiki for also coming through and helping out shout out to amari for just always trusting in me and shout out to all the dancers uh shout out to the crew uh, everyone that took also some bts shout out to pops for taking bts i had a lot of fun i think we all did such a great job and i'm so 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 happy that we came out with such a fire product so that's all i got for you guys today thank you so much again for coming back to my channel i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you aren't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button more breakdowns to come more music video breakdowns to come all of that is coming more covers to come so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace